Deshaun Jackson, uh, overview. Does it make any sense for the Eagles to let him go and the Niners or the Patriots, theoretically, to snatch this guy up? Uh, I, I think it makes sense for the Eagles if they decide that they want to do because they re-signed Jeremy Macklin. who's coming off his second ACL. Uh, they re-signed Riley Cooper. And you know what the deal is with Riley Cooper. I, I thought he should have been gone once he used the N-word last summer and never should have been brought back. But they decided to, and after five games, he really started to come into his own, and he was a, a more than serviceable receiver. Deshaun had his best uh, he had his best season of his career, 82 catches, and he is he's brilliant. He, he really is. He, he's great in the open field. He's got speed that's unmatched, really, in the NFL. But he's got these, uh, you know, these other issues, you know. And, and uh, Andy Reid saw them when he coached here. Andy Reid finally uh, benched him because he was he was late for for meetings, and he had been told about being late for meetings. And that might not seem to be a lot, but after uh, after it adds up for a while, I guess uh, Reid felt that he he needed to do that. With Chip Kelly, I think it's it's um, you know, he, it's it's not the the offense necessarily that Chip Kelly sees the Sean Jackson. And he can use guys um, like Macklin and like Cooper who can catch the ball 15, 20 yards downfield and, and still give you great yards after catch. He doesn't need a huge big uh, play threat necessarily in that offense. And when you combine that with his home being broken into and hundreds of thousands of dollars in items being stolen and semi-automatic weapons being found in the home, <laughs> I'm thinking, you know, they – they already the the Patriots have seen this type of thing before. Now, not to that degree. And someone took umbrage with me last night on on Twitter because I brought up Aaron Hernandez last night on on uh, CSN New England, and I said, "But look, you know, the, Deshaun, you know, he's, he he likes to rap. And he uh, the the guns were found at his house, and I would think that that would give a team pause." To me. All right, so and I'm sure it's given the Eagles pause. So the uh, re-signing of Macklin and Riley Cooper aside, what percentage out of a hundred would you say his high uh, maintenance diva attitude and issues that that um, uh, Chip Kelly sees plays into them not wanting him? Is it fifty fifty? Uh, that's a great question, JD. And I say I say forty. I say for, but but even even if it's twenty five or it's thirty, right? Chip Kelly is awful about football, man. I mean, he's just all about it. And he's at he's at um, he he went to um, workouts the, this week with Calvin Pryor and and, um, and and other players and went went to Florida State to watch guys work out. He's he's into it. And he wants players who feel the same way. I'm, I'm sure you've heard about his protein shakes, uh, his sleep regimen that he that he uh, wants the players to to get with. And everybody kind of snickered at it, not necessarily the players, but a lot in the media and certainly the fans. Like, oh, yeah, this guy's going to bring in protein shakes and a new sleep regimen, and they're going to go to the Super Bowl. <laughs> but guess what? They went to the playoffs in his first year, and no one's laughing anymore. They're like, okay, where's my shake? <laughs> um, so if, if guys aren't 100% on the same page or they have other things to do, then I think um, the Eagles would just as well say, hey, thanks, it's been great, but, um, you know, we'll, we'll see you later. Now, we reported on, on uh, Comcast Sportsnet last night, Derek Gunn reported, who uh, uh, said that the Eagles are actively taking offers for Deshaun Jackson. And if you're actively taking offers for him, I don't know how much difference it is between shopping him. So, you know, that's where we are. For more, visit weei.com slash video.